Welcome back, sports fans, for the second game of our double header, the Buffalo Bulls at the Carrier Dome against the Syracuse Orange. Another user user matchup for this Sunday afternoon double header. Thank you for joining us as we proceed to get kicked off. As you can see, the Buffalo Bulls, 59th in the country in points per game and yards per game, but that puts them on the uh, top half of the league, uh, considering that there are 127-odd teams in the league. So uh, this is a good MAC team coming to play in against a larger crowd than they've probably seen all season, really since their bowl game last year. It is a calm and cool day here inside the Carrier Dome. Wind of zero miles per hour from the northeast. It is one of the most storied legacies in the history of college football. I started my coaching career, I had a dream. And every decision that I made, that I will be the head football coach at Syracuse University. Undefeated, untied. 1959 National Champions. Syracuse has scored an undefeated season, and the team carries Ben Schwartzwalder off the field. It's going to be the greatest victory that you kids have ever had. Dozens of the most prolific and impactful players in the game. The first African American to win the Heisman Trophy. Six members of the Pro Football. Shotgun Hall of five Fame. wide, five yard Old drag to Lofton, who gets stood up by the defense the coming off of another receiver. In the country. We need you, we need everyone. This is our state, our town, our team, and we gotta win. Spanning more than 10 successful seasons and covering the country from California, Ohio, North Carolina, and Virginia, this is League One NCAA football. Don't you let anyone steal history away from you. Since 1889, this is Syracuse football. Syracuse in the Y trips now. And Lofton on another drag route, and this time for seven as he falls over the marker to get the first down. Tommy Tanuvasa now two for two. First and 10 from the Syracuse 36-yard line. Shotgun normal, halfback weak. It's a quarterback keeper, and he spins to make sure he's moving downfield up the gut as a wide cavern opens right down the midfield as the defense was expecting the outside run and the halfback, but not the quarterback keeper. And now, after that big run, Syracuse have entered Buffalo territory. Bavaro, the tight end this time, on the drag route and waits until very late to make it. 
a heavy defense with eight men there in the box on first down. It's a shotgun ace here against a 3-3-5 stack, and Tanuvasa audibles into an eye. Handoff is to Schumacher, who takes it up the gut. Michael Schumacher there for a six-yard rush and first down. A heated debate on the sidelines before this game. Uh, Michael Schumacher really, really wanted to um, to, 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 to bring out the uh, the super soft cleats this this week. He thought they had a good feel in practice, but uh, the coaches said, no, 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 you got to go with the mediums. They're going to get you through the whole game. Tanuvasa under center now, or behind center, I should say, and another pass to Bavaro, and great run blocking there by number 13. Gets an extra 10 yards. On a 23-yard reception to Mark Bavaro in the left flat. First and 10 now from the 15. They are knocking on the door at, a, at 5 minutes and 50 seconds into the game. Eye tight, two tight ends on either side of the line and a heavy defense. Pass to Bavaro this time on the right, and there's a flag on the play. The sideline looks like, ooh, yes, it's a face mask. And this close to the end zone, that's half the distance to the goal. It's first and goal now from the five. And the Orange come out in a flex bone. Two halfbacks, a fullback. And Tanuvasa scrambles out of the pocket. He's in the flat. He's being chased. And he taps the sideline after a two-yard gain trying to make the loop on the scramble out of the flex bone. And if you didn't see it this weekend in real life on Friday night, the Navy midshipmen had a heck of a game against the Yukon Huskies, ending up winning 56-10. to A dominant performance by Malcolm Perry, a former video game midshipman as well. We miss him dearly. Second and goal now from the three for the Orange. It's the ninth play of the drive. Hand off to Metcalf, and there's a wide gap when he cuts back and goes between the right guard and the right tackle for the touchdown. And that's going to begin the game. And Knight puts his foot through it, and it's going out the back of the end zone. Helped with that little bit of tailwind coming from the end zone with all those tubas going toot, toot, toot. taking the field for the first time today. 11 personnel here with workhorse to the left and the tight end to the right in the shotgun for the Bulls. And scrambles out and there's a flag on the play and it looks like it's going to be roughing. Kevin Green hit Kirk Cousins late. 
Cousins used to it. He's at Buffalo for a master's degree in communications after being cut by the Minnesota Vikings. And nobody around the receiver, but he tries to get fancy, and John Sharp stops his own momentum. He fails to get the first down by trying to get more than the one yard he needed. But nonetheless, the Buffaloes now are on the orange side of the field at second and one. Three down line for the defense spread way out where the tight ends are in this shotgun ace. And the workhorse out of the backfield gets a two-yard catch and is hit hard. It's a first and ten, but workhorse is going to feel that one in the morning. As it looked like the corner was running at him full speed. Looks like a pistol here. Workhorse behind Cousins. Cousins scrambling out. And he gets 85 in the flat. Champ Bailey, the safety closing, but overcommits. And John Sharp with a 46-yard touchdown catch. Kirk Cousins is now 4 for 4 for 40 and a touch. And this field goal will make it a tie ball game. At seven apiece, three and a half minutes remaining in the first. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. And he converts the extra point. Robinson gets set to kick this one away. Robinson puts it right in the middle of the letters. Schumacher takes the knee, heads into pit lane before the drive. similar results as their last drive. And it was a really nice drive too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Tanavasa doesn't like it, throws the ball away. Second and 10 now from their own 25. Afternoon, Tommy School. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the twenty-five yard line. Those Five wide receivers here on second and ten. Tanuvasa fades back a little bit and gets sacked. Held onto the ball just a little bit too long. It's gonna be third and long. Third and 19 now from their own 16. A couple of good defensive plays here from the Bulls early. We have just over three minutes remaining, just under, I should say, three minutes remaining in the half. And it's to Sanders, who stays in bounds and gets 21 yards for the first down. 
That's a big completion to Ricky Sanders coming from right to left in uh, in a route that uh, you don't usually see from Syracuse. Tanuvasa has space and slides down. He gets to second base on that one, sliding feet first. And once again, after a huge third down conversion, the Orange are in Buffalo land. And Tanuvasa breaks the edge on the quarterback keeper out of the split big. He's got one man to beat, but he beats him to the corner on the big, big run. That's a 40, I believe, seven yard run for the touch. Big run there for the Orange. Put them back up by seven once again. And the kick will make the Bulls start again at their own 25. Ranger became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Thank you for joining us this afternoon, Tom. Uh, you missed a great doubleheader where my Navy midshipmen uh, defeated the Indiana Hoosiers. And that was quite an exciting game as Buffalo is forced out of the pocket once again, doesn't like anything, and is tackled after a one-yard gain by Kirk Cousins. Second and nine now. Now, normally people consider communications to be a sort of soft degree, but uh, Cousins' master's program, apparently he's doing research in uh, German pamphlet writing from the 1870s. It's, uh, it's, it's apparently it's a, it's a very difficult but flourishing field. So we'll be excited to see what his, uh, what his dissertation is about. From their own 26-yard line. Five wide receivers now on second and nine for the Bulls. And it's again, corner Cousins leaves the pocket, and he can't get the ball off, and that's a sack with his arm around him like a belt. And now the Bulls come out in a flex bone. Motion from right to left. The quarterback keeps it. And it's a contested pass to... Jo maybe, no, from Johnson. Looks like the backup was in throwing that as Kirk Cousins was on the sideline. And it's now going to be fourth and 15. And the kick is up. Schumacher is underneath it. He's going to catch it at about the 26. And after a little bit of heaving bob with his own players, he gets a 12-yard return.
Less than a minute remaining in the first quarter, and Syracuse has the ball on their own 39. They're up by seven after, after preventing the Buffaloes from getting a first down on that last drive. Bavaro on the corner flag route with nobody around him. It's a clear miscommunication between the corner and the safety and where the safety thought the corner was going to trade off the guy running deep and did not. So on that play, you saw both the deep safety and the corner running with the guy running down the sidelines and Bavaro with nobody on him was wide open. Flex bone of their own now as Schumacher comes from left to right and it's a Tanuasa keeper. And he goes up between the guard and the tackle for a seven-yard gain. It's going to be second and third. Second and three, I should, I should say. That's uh, a good down in distance at 19 seconds remaining in the half. We could see a basketball play here. Shotgun normal, halfback weak. Tanuvasa fading out of the pocket, doesn't like it, scrambles. And dodges through the secondary. He's going to get inches shy, but there's a flag on the play. And it's going to be clipping on James Lofton. And it moves it to second and nine. Uh, Mr. Brack, I'm sorry, but the uh, the 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 the, uh, the the first district of New York does not does not comment on ongoing criminal investigations. Tanuvasa doesn't like it, waits for it. Sanders finally gets separation on the slant and gets 27 yards to get to first and goal. As for the steroid allegations, we've done a, the, uh, the NCAA has done a thorough investigation and has concluded that while they do not recommend players drink beer on the sidelines during a game, uh, alcohol does not constitute a steroid. The read option there goes for about one yard. It's going to be second and goal now from the nine. From the nine yard line, it's second down. Tanovaso waits for Lofton coming from left to right. He gets seven yards and is held up just shy of the end zone. It's going to be third and goal now from the two, but a great second down pass, patient waiting in the pocket from Tainavasa. And it's a pass, but Tanuvasa scrambles and takes it himself as the safe option as there was a open receiver, but he didn't need to go there.
And with another deep kick, Buffalo's going to start on their own 25 yet again. We're looking at a shotgun split off set here and handoff to the halfback, left halfback, tries to break right, workhorse gets two yards before he's tackled. Second and eight now. It's a shotgun wide trips from the Bulls. Fades out of the pocket and can't escape. And that's going to be a big 10-yard sack. Dexter Manley, second sack of the game. It's going to be third and 19. Third and 19 now. Three down lineman. Looks like a 3-3-5. Three, three, maybe a cross. Maybe a quarter. As the clock is ticking down on the play clock for the Bulls. And they don't get the playoff. And it's going to be third and two miles here from their own 11-yard line. Five wide receivers here for the Bulls. And the tackle deep on Plymouth Guru. It's a 22-yard catch, and he gets caught just short by a clothesline tackle. It's fourth and two now. Down by two scores almost halfway through, and looks like... We're going to see the safe play and a punt here from the Bulls. And despite the 22-yard reception, that is a three and out for the defense. It's a shotgun ace and, or oh sorry, shotgun split big and a lot of guys in the box as Tanuvasa scrambles out and has lots of space. There's a safety closing on him, but he can't make it and he cuts back inside to avoid the next man. It's a 63-yard touchdown run on a one-play drive. Do it. 
now. I told you do it now. Let's go. They can forget about returning this one. And just an incredible run there from Tanuvasa. 63 yards and a touch to make it a three-score game halfway through the second. It's still only the second quarter. we got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. A great pass there and great run blocking. Run blocker got two guys there and makes sure, gives Adam Anderson, the tight end, another 30 yards there with a great downfield blocking by the wide receiver on that corner flag play. Oh, yeah. And a big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. The Bulls audibling into a five wide from a, looked like a wide trips when we saw it briefly. And Butts cartwheels Cousins just as he throws the ball. The ball gets slung to Workhorse for a two yard gain. Then he's swallowed up by two defenders waiting in the short zones for him. Butts a little bit too slow, and another corner flag means Kirk Cousins gets his second touchdown pass. It's going to be 14 to 28. Schumacher takes the knee with 3.31 remaining in the half. Holy crap, Vanderbilt scored 40 against Missouri. Four wide receivers and a single halfback here. And it's a quarterback keeper. And he rolls over a defender to get that last yard and a half and get the first down. Tommy Tanavasa now 10 rushes for 152 yards. And over deep to Allworth, and two defenders dive early. And that was just a huge play deep. And it moves the orange into the 26 yard line. Tanuvasa scrambles out and he gets ahead of the line of scrimmage and can't throw the pass.
Metcalf in motion from right to left. Tanuvasa keeps it on the run up the gut and gets two. Call it two and a half ish. It's going to be third and seven now from the 23. Under two minutes with a live clock. Tanuvasa scrambles, waits. Allworth has to come back for it. And he gets the ball across the line before he's getting pushed out of bounds. Heads up play by Lance Allworth. First and 10 now from the 16. And considering they were on the 26, the, that is a first down really by inches. And Metcalf, he comes through traffic, but a spin move puts the two, two secondary players running downfield where he is not. Heads up play to break open and get the touch. And Cousins is out in the flat, but he can't break beyond the, the, the defender who peeled off his receiver who was running a short route. It's a short gain to second and nine. Three three five from the defense and the I uh, offense. And Adam Anderson goes up and gets a twenty six yard pass over the middle. The Buffalo's now in orange territory with a minute to go in the half. What did I say? Oh, you're right. And the Bulls hand it off to Workhorse, who gets met in the backfield for a zero-yard gain, and the clock is live. Quarterback keeper out of the flex bone to means Johnson gets one yard on third and nine. Third 
third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. And Cousins once again in the flat. Manly dives and can't make it. John Sharp with the 12-yard catch in the first down. His third catch of the game. And a catch on the sideline by Workhorse. Ten yards, they call it, but also short of the first down. It stops the clock out of bounds on the 26-yard line and 27 seconds. Second and inches. Second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. I uh, normal. Or I should say a pistol normal. And with a read option, Kirk Cousins loses a yard. It's going to be third and two now. Buffalo is spending a timeout. They audible into the five wide. And Matthias Maplewood makes the three yard catch. They didn't have any room to spare because they barely picked up the first down. And the pass to J.P. Workhorse goes for nine yards. And the Bulls call the timeout. Second and one with 14 seconds. Cousins out of the pocket again. Manley dives at his feet. But Cousins makes the scramble and gets six yards and out of bounds. Eight seconds remain. I formation now at eight seconds. Cousins is out of the pocket, and he throws the ball to Green. And that is a heck of a pick. First incompletion of the game for Kirk Cousins, and it goes right to Green as he attempts to throw on the run in a dangerous place to do so, the red zone. But now, first and 10 from their own two with two seconds. It is Syracuse ball. First down, tough spot here deep in their own territory. And they deploy the Q-backs quarterback sneak because it's too close for the knee. And that's going to be halftime. We're going to take a short halftime break, and I'm going to give you some halftime stats. So it is 35 to 14. First downs are 12 to 7, and total offense is 350 to 210. 
210, not a, not an unreasonable amount for the Buffaloes. A 420-yard game is a pretty good game for the most part. It is the fact that they are down by so many points because the, uh, the Syracuse Orange have been getting points from short fields. They are, however, negative six on nine rushes. I believe at least three of those are going to be sacks. So six runs, um, they're not getting the yards they usually get out of workhorse, their workhorse halfback, and that's causing them a problem. Whereas the Syracuse Orange are 15 for 166, including a number of big, big runs, um, which is making a difference. Similarly, both teams are have a high completion percentage, and in fact, Buffalo has... 16, uh, 32 more passing yards than Syracuse does, but they're not converting. In particular, if you see there's a 2-4 to four third down conversion versus a 3 out of 3 third down conversion rate for both teams. And similar story where Syracuse is 100% in the red zone, Buffalo is 50%. And that 50% is because of that one red zone turnover by Green. Time of possession in Syracuse's favor, but only by about two minutes. It's not uh, yet become the significant factor in the game. Player stats, Tommy Tanuvasa is 12 for 13 for 184 and one touchdown. That's 92% with a 15.3 average and one sack gives him a ludicrous 236.5 rating. Kirk Cousins, on the other hand, also has a ridiculously good rating at 255.3 because he is 13 out of 14 for 216 yards and two touchdowns. He has one pick, but 92% and 16.6 average is enough to make up for that pick. Johnson, 0 for 0, passing out of the flex bone. On the ground, yes, Cousins, let's see, two sacks but six yards with a, sorry, six attempts with a minus 1.5 average and a long of six. He's been scrambling out and getting hit even if he gets yardage. Workhorse, on the other hand, has only two rushing attempts and has an average of one yard. Uh, sorry, that is the wrong order. On the other hand, Syracuse running the ball. Tommy Tanuvasa has 13 attempts for 157 yards. That's a long of 63 that there was that big one play drive where he broke it wide open. And he's got three touchdowns on the ground, Metcalf and Schumacher each with one run for single digits. Through the air, Bavaro, the tight end, leads the way with four for 56. Allworth and Sanders both have big yardage averages at two for 45 and two for 48. Lofton has three catches for 19. The other side of the ball, Buffalo, Anderson and Workhorse and Sharp lead the way. Sharp has that big 46-yard uh, long, and Anderson has a 61-yard long, but they're both getting good distance. Defensively, the Buffaloes are being led by DeAngelis and Chandler, Chandler and Mandarin with tackles for loss. Syracuse, on the other hand, is led by Green, who has four tackles, Four tackles, one for loss, and an interception. Fletcher rounds it out, and everybody else, Thomas Butts, Manley, Roll, and Bailey, have two tackles. Manley, two of them are for loss. And that's your halftime stats. We will be resuming shortly.
face mask, mask gives extra yardage to the return attempt. And Cousins out of the pocket once again, and Fletcher reaches up and snatches it. He's running back for it. The O-line can't keep up with him. The throw on the run and defensive touchdown voiding the excellent field position for the Buffalo Bulls. They're down an extra seven points and start on their own 25-yard line. So the offense will come back out onto the field hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this motion left to right and Green gets off his block and grabs the wide receiver motion run. That's a two yard loss. Shotgun normal, halfback weak here. And over the middle, he slips between defenders and tumbles down after a 14-yard gain. Cousins under center. Hand off to Workhorse. He attempts to break outside left and is chased down at the edge. He gets a two-yard gain. And it's now second and ten. Or oh, sorry, he gets no yards. Second and ten. Workhorse left of the quarterback, slightly offset. Cousins chased out, being pursued by Manley and a bear, or a Manly bear, as we should say. And Cousins gets one yard on the scramble, but can't get the open field. Third and nine now. Is the deep man awaiting the return? He 
fields it at the 17. Brought down at the 29-yard line. It'll be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Syracuse is winning big. He's taken down around the 37 yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down in there, about two yards away from the sticks. Mike 55, Mike 55. Green nine, green nine. Green nine. He's tackled at the 33. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up third and six. To make it third and six and a loss of four on the quarterback keeper. A solid contingent of Buffalo fans there in the corner, as you can see. It's not that far from Buffalo to Syracuse, and that's a good reason for the intensity of this long-standing rivalry. Tenuvasa scrambles out. He's got space. Anderson leaps for it and makes the catch, but there is roughing the passer by Skip Mandarin. This was just an unnecessary hit. He should have been disciplined for a play like that. And that gives an extra 15 yards and puts the Orange in bull, in bull territory. Shotgun split, Tenuvasa keeps but pitches. Metcalf breaks one tackle and moves up and his team tackled after a gain of four. Heads up play by Tanuvasa to get the pitch off. And a wide open gap for Metcalf to run behind the left guard. It's first and 10 now from the 27. to Metcalf. This one goes for five on first and ten. Keeps the clock moving and they're just outside the red zone. You. Anybody who knows the New Jersey mob will tell you it's hard to make those two make those two yards make any motion at all with your feet in concrete. So it's third down and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. <laughs> Hand off to Metcalf and he uh, runs right up and there is a good push and the offensive line gets him all the yards he needs and then there's a face mask by Clayton Davis. That's going to make it first and goal from the seven now after it's half the distance to the goal on that penalty. Syracuse comes to the line in complete control of this game. They'll need to hurry 
It's another handoff, this time to Schumacher. He runs behind the tackle and gets five yards on first and seven. It's going to be second and goal from the two. And off to Metcalf. It's an off-tackle run to the left, and he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Thank you for the host, Amazing Dragom. Um, this is the second game of our doubleheader this afternoon. We're about to go into the fourth quarter. Syracuse, coached by Coach Spector, is up 49-14 to over another user in our dynasty, Coach Soccer Pro of the Buffalo Bulls, who has 14 points in this game. Syracuse ranked number one and the reigning national champions. Buffalo, an excellent MAC team, but uh, outgunned by a fair margin here in this game. As we see what might be the final play of the third. And number 91 of the defense, Green, the linebacker back in coverage gets his hands on it and causes the deflection. It's going to be second and ten. The incompletion stopping the clock. It looks like we're going to see a basketball play here. The Buffalo Bulls are going to see what they like, if they like anything, and maybe they can go. Yes, they do. They're going. They're going for a play, but it doesn't develop fast enough, and that's going to be a sack to end the third. And long pass, and it is snatched. That looked like a catch by the wide receiver, and it is absolutely snatched by the uh, the receiver there. And I apologize, Amazing Dragon, for that. Um, you're, at, you know, <laughs> Twitch is mean. Um, But thank you for joining us, Amazing Dragon. Um, we appreciate the host as we uh, are in the final quarter of our doubleheader this afternoon. Five wide receivers now for the Orange. Excellent field position. Allworth on the slant, and he just refuses to fall down as he gets sandwiched between two wide, uh, sorry, two defenders who both fall down, and he gets to run for another two yards. It is second and one now. Um, every coach's favorite. I think it might be because he's he's doing the the timer thing. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. It's a great pitch by Metcalf. Metcalf can't quite get it, get it back to the line, but it is going to be third and one. He's better at diagnosing those plays now, and he knows how to bring a guy down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. 
Clock is ticking down on third and one, and it is a handoff to Wycheck this time. And that is a first down. It's basically the offensive line matching up against the defensive line. And on that particular conversion, the offensive line did a nice job of getting just enough of a push to give the back enough room for the first down. From the 21 yard line. It's first down, Syracuse. Play clock winding down. Syracuse under center. Metcalf with the ball and a great run. 10 yards and first down. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first down, just pushing this defense. You're absolutely right, Dragon. They should. We are hopeful. We are hopeful that they will in the near future, given recent events with California legislation um, and, you know, allegedly the NCAA taking things into committee. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, I, as I've said to the other members of the, of the league, um, you know, I'm not expecting it for another four to five years. But I think there will be... Um, a couple, uh, you know, an another game in the future. So, um, Syracuse is playing against another user, Buffalo. I am the head coach of the Navy Midshipmen. I played another user earlier this afternoon in the Indiana Hoosiers. Uh, so this is the, the second of our two games that we played today. The first one was earlier, uh, where I ended up beating Indiana 34-17, to but it was a tough-fought game. It relied on a couple of big plays by Navy and a couple of um, big turnovers by Indiana. Oh, um, so uh, Syracuse, yes, is number one. Uh, I am not the head coach of Syracuse. I am providing the play-by-play -play for Syracuse because doing the commentary on your own game while you play is a considerable uh, degree of difficulty that given the fact that we've got ten members of the league and it's very competitive, uh, it's not fair to those of us who stream on Twitch to make it harder than anybody else. But yes, Syracuse is number one. They... Uh, they won the national title last year, and they're undefeated through five games this year, four games this year, and so they've got good reason to be ranked well. On second and five now in the red zone. Metcalf avoids the tackle and stands up, and it looks like they're saying forward progress between the first down marker and the end zone. First and goal now from the one. And this play is number eight on the drive. Defense Both the defense and the offense with tight, heavy sets. Tanu Vasa with the quarterback sneak, the Tom Brady, if you will. And that's worth some points.
And now at 56 to 14, and yes, this game has become a blowout. Really, only since uh, since the third quarter, when, uh, when when there was a big pick thrown by Buffalo, but a a dominant game by Syracuse so far, despite some efficient and effective play calling on the part of Buffalo as well. Early in the fourth quarter, and this one we know is over. Four twenty-two remaining. As the uh, as Kirk Cousins attempts a triple option of his own, but cannot get the pitch off when he's ramped up, and he loses two yards. They line up at the twelve. No. Um, I, as the person who is talking, uh, is is the am the am the head coach of Navy, a different team entirely. Uh, we only have one person per team. Coach Specter is the coach of the Syracuse Orange, and he's playing the game. I don't have a controller in my hands. I'm not playing anything. I'm just hitting sound effects and silly things like that, doing the the play-by-play -play as he plays his game. And similarly, when I play my Navy games, he does the commentary on that. But we only have one person playing per team. Uh, one user for Syracuse, one user for Buffalo, one user for Navy, one user for Indiana, and then a few other teams that all each have one user. And third and one there, an important conversion for Buffalo late as we're now more than halfway through the final quarter. yard line first down just under three to go in regulation and this is a quarterback speed keeper it looks like and it's a two-yard gain as Kirk Cousins gets bowled over out in the flat My game was earlier this afternoon. It was at noon, and I played and beat Indiana. My next game is probably next week, uh, either Friday or Thursday, sometime like that. But I already played my game for today. A hard-fought game against the excellent defense of uh, Coach Siwak. Kirk Cousins scrambling out of the pocket and throws the ball away. And looks like some gesticulating and yelling on the Bulls' sideline. Looks like uh, they were looking for roughing the passer there, and coach the, the, the referee is not going to give it to him this time. As the Bulls now send out five wide receivers. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Two eleven remaining on third and eight in the game. Cousins waiting for it. And the receiver catches it and gets hit. Um, I'm not sure what Navy's ranking is off the top of my head. Um, I was, I think, somewhere in the mid-50s before beating Indiana. I'm probably going to be in the mid-40s. Um after this after this week being now at four and one um but i don't know my 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 rank off the top of my head you know i'm not receiving top 25 votes first and 10 now from their own 
28-yard with 2.02. Both teams with three timeouts. Metcalf takes the ball, and there is a flag on the play. And that's going to be clipping on the offense. It's going to be first and 24. Four wide receivers and a single back. Tanuvasa scrambles out. He's looking for something. And he goes deep, and Metcalf has a great catch in triple coverage. But two of those defenders were absolutely looking the wrong way and not playing the ball at all. But uh, real patience there to scramble out and throw for the big conversion. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Tanuvasa now comes out under center. The clock is live. And Metcalf attempts to cut outside. He breaks a couple of tackles, and he gets caught in the backfield, and there's another flag on the play. And clipping once again. It's the second first and 24. First and 24. They come out in a five wide set. Tanavasa scrambles out. Who's he looking for? Anybody? He scrambles and slides. He takes a dent out of the first and 24. It's now second and 11 with a live clock. And pass to Metcalf underneath, and he dives for the first down. And first and 10 from the 32. Twenty-seven seconds, sixteen seconds in the game. They have to send out the offense once again. And it's a handoff to Metcalf. He gets five yards, and that's going to be the final play of the game. Thank you for watching the uh, dominant performance of the second game of our doubleheader. Buffalo at Syracuse ends 56 to 14. Syracuse wins a dominant performance, three turnovers, negative rushing yards for the Bulls compared to 246 rushing yards for the Orange, as well as fantastic third and red zone conversion rates. Frankly, is I would say on a large part simply a matter of how badly Buffalo was outgunned. The marginal plays see, seemingly always ended with a couple of more yards in Syracuse's favor just simply because they have the personnel to lean forward instead of getting hit back. But no mistakes and a good game plan lead to a dominant performance by the Syracuse Orange. Green with a number of tackles for loss, no sacks this game, but an interception, and Manley with three sacks lead the way on defense. DeAngelis with seven sacks, the strong safety, the key player of that defense. Workhorse doing much better after having only gained two yards in the first half, gains a 
another 32 in the second half through the ground. But uh, and wor workhorse, you know, nothing on the ground game seemed to work for Buffalo this game, and that's unfortunate because the ground game is very important to Buffalo's wins so far this season. Thank you for joining us. As you can see, a uh, resounding game by the Orange. And we'll catch up again with you next week. We'll take a quick look at what we've got set up as our games for next week. Coming up in week seven, here on this Twitch channel, Syracuse at Pittsburgh, a rivalry game, and Memphis at Navy. Memphis, a very good American team this year, and so that's going to be a competitive and interesting matchup. Likely going to be Friday night this upcoming week. We hope to see you there. Thank you for joining us for this Sunday afternoon doubleheader. Have a great week. Kick its ass.